Today we're going to make dill pickles in a crock and we have six to seven pounds of three inch pickles. We have two bags of pearl onions peeled, three jalapenos sliced, two heads of garlic peeled, peppercorns to taste, and two big bunches of dill. Okay, you want to use your biggest pickles and go down the middle of your crock and then squeeze as many as you can along the sides. And next, put a layer of the pearl onions. Then get some nice bouquets of the dill. Then a handful of garlic. Handful of jalapeno. And then however much pepper you want. And then you start all over. Take your big guys down the middle. So I repeated and did about four or five layers and went all the way to the top and then I'm going to top it off with any remaining garlic or onion and a lot of dill. Oh. Okay, for the brine you need 12 cups of water, a quart of vinegar, and a third of a cup of kosher salt and you bring that to a boil and pour over your pickles. Okay, once you've made your brine, and just pour it over the top. Okay, make sure the brine goes all the way to the top and that your dill is covered completely. Then you put the crock on a plate because this is going to ooze as it ferments and put your plate on top. Oopsie! <laughs> and then put, weigh it down to make sure. As you can see I put a little too much of the brine in there. And then let it sit for five days and taste it and see what you think and enjoy. Okay, it's been five days, and as you can see, there's that um, fermentation on the top of the crock and a little bit on the bottom. And this is how it looks before I take any out. Okay, so here we go. These aren't going to be sealed for canning, but they're just cuter to put in. I, and I've put in four and then a couple onions.